Okay, now we're going to install the lock. So I'm just going to show you how to mark the height of your lock. I've just got the inside facing me and it's going to line up with this point here. So we want to actually come up 7mm up above that for the thickness of the lock pin. So then it sits on top of that and we have a tiny gap there. Okay, with this lock we're just going to do the hole, line it up with the centre V screws on the inside. So that's our mark that we marked earlier. That's just a pilot hole. I'm just going to work up to a bigger hole. And then a bigger hole again. Okay, so this one's going to be a face fix lock. But we're actually going to mark our holes from the inside again. So if we put the lock on the inside, bring this around and just get it central to mark our holes. That will actually fix the, the lock from the other side once we've drilled our holes. Okay, so we're going to turn the lock over. We'll grab the two little 3 8 screws again. The little screws, make sure they are the little screws in the pack. Um, as if you use longer screws, they will bind on the uh, on the glass and it won't operate properly. So make sure they are the small screws in the pack. Okay, so that's fitted. Now check, yep, that's locked, it's not fouling on the side of the hole. So that's perfect. Now that's ready to uh, tap into the back of the window. Okay, as an alternative to face fixing the lock, we can do an internally uh, concealed lock, which I'm going to show you now. So first we're going to do our pilot hole again on our mark that we did. Line it up centrally to the V-groove. So this, this centre V-groove, I'm just going to change it to the 19mm spade bit. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to get a 19mm hole with a spade bit. Score this side out, turn it over to the face, and we do the face last. It's as easy as that. Now, I'm going to pay, place the lock from the inside, push it through. I've got a little jig just with a, a 20mm hole in it, so the 19mm uh, lock fits in nice and easily. And this ridge here is being made to actually, so we tap the lock down, this ridge here has been made to simply just push over and that locks it in place. The other side has already got a groove that the lock locks into. So once these are over, it is quite sturdy and will not come loose. It's quite, quite solid. And that's the other alternative to fitting a lock.